Hey folks, this should be a quick one today. Earlier this week, Lab 599 released a firmware update for the TX500, and I thought that would be a great opportunity to show you guys just how easy it is to update the firmware on this radio. All right, so first we just head off to the Lab 599 website, go over to the download section, and you will need this firmware update utility, right? That's, that's a prerequisite. I'm not going to show that here. Very straightforward, download and install that software. Uh, next, you will need the firmware itself. Here you can see there are a number of versions available. I'm going to be upgrading to the latest update, which was just released a few days ago. Uh, there are a couple of notes here we should we should pay attention to. First of all, what do we get in this update? Well, we get a new noise blanker. All right, so that's cool. Uh, looking forward to that. And then the dreaded general fixes, right? These are the things we're too embarrassed to tell you about uh, that have been hanging out in our software for who knows how long. All right, so we're going to get some general improvements. That's a good thing as well. Let's note here that the updates are cumulative, right? So if you're if you're behind, you don't have to go um, update by update, which is nice. However, there is a note here: if you want your if you want your 11 meters, if you want your CB band, then make sure you have uh, 113 loaded before you go beyond. All right, so I think I'm okay in that regard, though we will verify that before we install the update. All right, so that's, uh, that's really all you need to know from a software perspective. All right, the next thing you need to know is which cable slash driver combination do you have and or need? So um, there are two different, dri or two different cables that can ship with the Lab 599, there is a, uh, a USB cable that has a blue shroud, and there is one that has a black shroud. If you have the blue shroud version, which is what I have, then you have an FTDI chip-based USB to serial cable. If you've got the black shroud, then you've got the prolific chipset in your cable, and you need to make sure you've got the right drivers for that cable. Uh, pretty easy to determine if we take a look at our uh, our COM ports here. We can ignore all of these flex uh, serial ports. We can take a look at uh, number eight. We can see that the driver here is a Microsoft driver. That's not the one we're looking for. If we look at COM 12 here, we can see that, uh, hey, this has got the FTDI um, chipset in it. Uh, and we should make note of the fact that this is COM 12 because we will need to know that when we actually run the update software. If we take a look at uh, the driver here, we can see what version of the driver is. Uh, you know, if you're on a, a newer Windows machine, Chances are it's going to download a driver that is going to work for you, not a problem. The TX500 does support a Linux-based firmware update tool. You will have to verify that you have the correct driver installed if you are operating a Linux device. Okay, let's see. Next here, let's take a look at the radio. So here, uh, let's see what version we've got first. So let's uh, go ahead and turn this unit off. Uh, we should see the firmware version that we currently have installed when we turn the unit on here. And it looks like we have the 113, so we should be in good shape. No concern there. Okay, next we have to go ahead and get the radio into the firmware update mode. That is achieved by holding in this third from the left top row button and turning the unit on. And when you do that, we don't get the normal 599 splash screen. 
but we get the message saying that it's ready for the loader. All right, so let's take a look at the loader. This is pretty easy here as well. Straightforward. We have to tell it which COM port we're dealing with. We are using COM port 12. We have to tell it what file we are dealing with or where our file is. So I've got it right here in the downloads directory. And now we simply press update. And here we can see the status bar is updating. All right, and this says our device is updated. All right, gang, that's all there is to it. I told you it's gonna be a quick and easy one today. I hope uh, this helps some of you out there. I do appreciate you watching these videos, especially those of you who watch to the end. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next video.